Hello everyone, this is just a short video regarding the jets in the carburetor of a Fiat X19. Uh, this is a 1987 European model with the Weber 34 DAT uh, carburetor. I had some uh, problems with the jetting when I rebuilt the carburetor. I messed them up and the carburetor does need rejetting anyway because it, the jet sizes aren't really quite right out of the factory. So let me just explain here. Um, these are the jets here. We've got here one, two, three, four. They're very easy to get at because all you need to do is take off the air cleaner cover lid. This is the primary barrel for where you just have your normal driving and this is the secondary barrel when you put your foot down. Now according to the Haynes manual uh, we see the primary barrel it gives the, the jetting sizes. Now what seems to be wrong is we've got this 1.07 and it just causes a lean mixture, a bit of hesitation, and everyone seems to say go up a couple of um, stages on the jet size. I went up from 1.07, which I think is the uh, diameter in millimetres. I went up to 1.15, just wasn't quite enough, so I went up to 1.2, and that is fine and great. Uh, so let's have a look at the actual jets and I will remove them and I will show you them so it's nice and simple they are just a flathead screwdriver and you'll need really a pair of tweezers just to get them out it just makes it a lot easier so this is the primary barrel jet now the jet that you're looking at is here at the bottom I don't know if I'm out of focus but it's this bit here and here's one I took off earlier you can see how small it is um, it can be a bit tight but uh, just get it off with a well, you might need a pair of pliers and with this I had to actually expand out the split bit there because it was just too sloppy uh, so I just expanded it out slightly and it fitted in nicely and then at the top here this is your I think emulsion tube, I think this is your F30, uh, this just comes off, see, like that. Uh, so if you want to re-jet, all you need to do is buy one of those. So that was a 115 jet, and then because as I said, I went up to uh, 1.20, so it would be probably stamped on the side 120. Now this is your... Uh, the um, slow running jet and this is where the confusion lies this is the 0.7 for the secondary barrel but if you look here you've got the two jets separated either side by this bit in the middle so you'd think that these two would be for the primary and these two would be for the secondary not so the main jet for the primary is on this side, and that feeds there. The uh, idle jet for the secondary goes from there and feeds in there, and that's where the mistake lies. So, going back to the manual, we see here the, so it's a slow running jet, is 0.7. This is the slow running jet for the secondary, and it goes in there. Slot in. Okay. This is the main jet for the primary barrel, and it goes in there. Okay, it therefore follows that this is the secondary barrel, the uh, 1.3 jet that goes into there. And this is the primary slow running jet that feeds in there. So once you've got your head round it, so it's the uh, slow running jet for the secondary goes there, slow running jet for the primary goes there, main jet for the primary goes there, and the main jet for the secondary goes there and that's really other than screwing them back in that's all there is to it as the owners club say just go up a couple of notches from 1.07 
to 1.2 and that will sort of sort out your uh, little bit of jerkiness when you put your foot down.